All right, well, welcome back to Breath of Small. Um, so, fun fact, when you're tiny, you can't go downstairs. You also, I also don't seem to be encountering any enemies, so at least there's that. So, I can't really do a whole lot at this size. But there's a little hole here. So what's up here? I am now in a much better fitting cave. For my size. Mice! Hello mice. Hello cockroaches. Um... Alright, I have now become bug exterminator. Why are these cockroaches faster than me? I know I'm small, but still. <laughs> There's big trouble of brewing. All right. Apparently being small also means I can talk to mice now, which are still smaller than me, and I became very small. Like I'm the size of a cockroach. Why are these mice smaller than cockroaches? Or is that just how big these cockroaches are? I don't want to think about that. There's big trouble up ruin. I, I know. I, I know. Welcome to the Mouse Inn. Would you like to stay? Rest well. Alright, cool. Well, I can get free heals here. That's nice. Whipper, squeak, please help me. You say that and then your friend moves. Alright, sure. Well, I'm just gonna keep smashing these roaches. Of which there are endless. How strong are their mice to be able to live with these roaches? That's what I want to know. Or do they have, like, a treaty? That they don't attack each other. Oh, he's protecting... Uh, treasure chests. Uh, if I remember correctly, you have to be very careful with those treasure chests. Because one of them is the item to return to normal size. And the and if you get it before you get the other one, you immediately rush out and return to normal size. Now thankfully, I think the other one is just like an herb, so it doesn't really matter. But... Still have to be kind of careful. And I can never remember which is which. <laughs> oh, I found all their cheese. Alright, I also found more cockroaches. Alright. Are you here to steal our food? I hate humans, you always cause trouble. Pretty sure you guys are the ones causing trouble right now. Let's see... Let's just flame you... Attack... Attack! I think I mostly just want to focus these guys down one at a time. Oh! Oh. Okay. Alright, sure. These guys have much less defense than I thought they did. Neo, just go ahead and heal yourself, I think. These guys are very fast, but they seem to not have a whole lot in terms of defense. To be fair, they are cockroaches. Okay, they have a lot more defense in their second form. Good to know. There we go, that's what I like to see. Uh, Nina's also not going to be doing a whole lot in terms of damage here. I don't think even turning into dragon form is worth it at this point. So, let's just auto battle, actually. Because unless I need Nina to heal people, there's not a whole lot of point in doing anything other than just attacking. <laughs> yeah, because that's going to happen anyway. So, let's just... Do it this way. 
basically the only person Nina's going to need to heal is herself. But she has now reached the point where I should probably heal her. Yeah, and she's doing a lot more damage with her sword than anything else. Actually, I don't think I even need to heal her at this point. Because this guy will die in this round, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there we go. Alright. Well, that was kind of anticlimactic. Beaten by humans, how humiliating. Yeah, you might be tempted to go into dragon form there. Don't! It's not worth it. You actually do more damage in your human form. <laughs> Might also be tempted to use Blue's magic there, because there's multiple people that you could hit. Don't! It's not worth it. You actually do more damage just physical attacks. Thank you for helping us. You're welcome, little mice dudes. Heal me, please. Thank you. Thank you. Please take this cure potion with you. Except he doesn't tell you which one it is. M. Cura. Yep. The mouse Cura. So it's the one on the left. Uh. That's unfortunate. So I don't know what the thing on the right is. I'm pretty sure it's just an herb, though. I'm not going to reset the game so I can go find out. Because <laughs> that's the only way you can ever get to that treasure chest, is by resetting the game and doing it all over again. And it's not that worth it to me. Alright, we've got Peril. Which also take a lot of damage. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but I've reached the point in the game where uh, the E key is no longer useful, really. Like, it just does such little damage and things tend to have so much health that it is no longer worth it. It's pretty much going to be better to just use a physical attack or to use a different attack item. Which means I should probably just switch the E key out of that spot. Uh, but, you know, whatever. Uh, let's heal up that damage, because those guys were mean and hit everyone for 45. We also have a giant pot of Bruin down here. That's kind of... sketch. What is it with, like... The wizard had a similar sort of thing going. What is it with these people? Okay. Speaking of wizard... Hello. Uh, I believe I do want a Flame Rapier you. There we go. Nine point five. All right. Yeah, Blue just keeps learning more and more magic. All right. So, yeah, so that top one will just take me back out of here, which is what I don't want. And then I have to be careful as to which... Uh, actually, never mind. I was going to say I have to be careful as to which one of these I take, otherwise it will just take me back. Uh, I'm mistaken. There is only one of them I can take. <laughs> oh, you've actually got some defense on you. Not that it will help against the Flame Rapier, but... All right. Okay. And it is at this point that I do want to re-equip the Dragon Sword. It'll slow me down, but I do a lot more damage with it. You've bounced back once, but that won't happen again. I'm going to make you into monster fodder. Do -do -do -do. All right, Ruga X. Let's see what you have for me. I know a lot of these guys seem to be pretty weak to physical. Okay, these guys are... This one is not as weak to physical, so magic's actually going to be pretty useful on this guy. So I think what I'm going to do here is swap out 
ox for blue. Yes. Keep attacking. Use the flame rapier. Attack. And let's see what fun magic I can use on this guy. Fireball? Ah, uh, okay. So that's the same as the flame rapier. Well, let's then try... Chill. Oh, okay. So chill isn't... Hits everyone. Chill is an attack that hits everyone. Oh, for 100 damage, that's pretty good. At this point, though, for a, fighting a single target, Blue's magic is probably still better spent just using the Flame Rapier or Thunder Rapier, which is kind of unfortunate. <laughs> she has all this good magic, but against a single opponent, she's probably still better off just using Thunder Rapier. Oh, okay, I guess it doesn't have a second form. My poison flower will send you spiraling into madness! I'm sure it will. Oh. Hello, human. Does this mean all the other ones that I fought were also humans? Nona uses Kira too. That should work. Wait, what? It's not working. Your spell's too weak, let's take him to the village. What do you mean, my spell's too weak? Well, excuse me! For being the only healer. Nikolai! What did you do? Can't you tell a man from a monster? Hey, he was a monster. I can heal his wounds in no time. You don't have any healing magic, Blue. I'll need oil. Find a frog, bring me its oil. There are a few frogs in Frog Cave. Did you hear me? Go get the frog oil! Okay. So, uh, Blue just kicked us out. And is no longer in our party, you will notice. So we can't actually use Blue until we finish this little side quest. Uh, but now we need to go back to that frog cave, which, actually, I didn't want to fuse my people. Um, I am going to try something here and see if I can skip ahead a little bit. Because what they want you to do is go back to frog cave, uh, and talk to the frogs. Uh... But I want to try something else first and see if I can save myself a little bit of travel time. I don't know, actually know if this is going to work or not, though. Aha! It will. A fly ate my lunch. My stomach is grumbling. So when you get to the frog cave, they will tell you that they'll give you the oil, but only if you bring them a fly. And if you'll recall, this guy was complaining that a fly ate his lunch. So this is where you're supposed to go to get said fly. So normally, you go to the frog cave, be told to go get a fly, come all the way back here, go through this dungeon, and then go all the way back to the frog cave. I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to do it the one time. I want to spend as little time underwater as possible. So I'm just going to fight this guy now. I don't like cheese. Maybe I could eat this. Hello, Goldfly. Oh, I actually thought I had to fight things in here. That's why I re-equipped the boomerang, but okay, sure. And let's try the flame rapier. If I recall correctly, the Goldfly is actually pretty dang strong. Yeah. So I think that this is a perfect opportunity demonstrate dragon form. Now, I know that there 
there's the gold dragon and there's the silver dragon. One only works on undead, but hits them really hard, and the other one doesn't work on... Er, and the other one just is really strong physical. And I can never remember which is which. <laughs> so we're gonna find out here. Uh, if the gold dragon is the one that works on undead or the one that works on everything. It's the one that works on undead. Okay. So it's the silver dragon that hits everything really hard. Alright. So that that's very good information to have. So we're just gonna turn back. No effect. And then we're gonna turn into a bolt dragon instead. Now, the thing with the upgraded dragon versions is they will now hit all targets on the field. Um, or all enemies, I should say, instead of just being single target. I think they are also slightly stronger, uh, but the big thing is now they'll hit everybody. And I don't even get to try it out because I took the guy out too fast. <laughs> all right, fine. I received the gold fly. I definitely need to go and uh, heal now, but I'm just gonna go back to that frog cave first. Also, again, I know this episode has been going a little bit long at this point, but, well, actually, no, it's been going just about right on time. So we'll go to the frog cave, and then we'll go to frog cave, get oil, do all that good stuff. You've already seen where the frog cave is, so I think I'm just gonna skip ahead to being there. All right, we're back at the frog cave. I have some oil, it's sweet and tasty. You all just gonna say, do you like frogs? I mean, frogs are okay when I don't have to fight, you know, giant ones in castles. Uh, I want a gold fly, I'm hungry. I could eat a very big gold fly. If you give me the gold fly, I'll supply it with oil. I got the oil. Have oil, it's sweet and tasty. All right, cool, we got the oil. Now, I could just warp back, but before we do that, I did get a new form. Let's show it off. I'm never gonna use this, so let's just do it once. Devo. Simulates a super form. So yeah, so this is a fusion of ox, Karn and Gobi. Uh, and it creates Fishman. Now, still has no attacks. Uh, is pretty much as strong as Shin. Uh, can only be used underwater because he is a merman. Oh, fuck yeah, Nina finally learned 4X. So now she has become a lot more useful, because she can raise the entire party's defense in one move. Um, and his ability... Oh. Never mind. He has no abilities. This form does not even have an ability. So, screw it. I thought it also had Gobi's fish form. I was incorrect. It does not. So yeah, Debo, completely and utterly useless. <laughs> Which is rather unfortunate. But, wanted to show it off. Let's warp back to uh, Gust. And we can go talk to Blue. Warriors, our fate is in your hands. All right, we have the oil. Uh, you're no longer over here. You must be at Nikolai's house now. I think it was this one. Yeah, girl isn't here, so... Nope, not here. Where the hell are you people? Are you in this first house? Yes. 
Indeed you are. Alright, cool. I'll never forgive you if anything happens to Nikolai. He was a monster. Our problems will be solved now that we have the oil. Let's see how this goes. Lou sprinkles the oil on Nikolai. That flower. If it spreads seeds, the whole world will go insane. You go dispose of the flower. I'll watch over Nikolai. The crystal ball exploded. That could be seen as a bad omen, but I wouldn't worry about it. Thanks, Blue. Thanks. Alright, well... We need to go exterminate some flowers. Uh, I also very much need to heal. So I'm gonna heal myself up here. And we will see you guys tomorrow as we go exterminate some flowers, I guess.